Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to remap your keyboard. Basically, it means to reassign the function of the keys on your keyboard. Of course, it includes the combination of the keys, for example, ALTF4 to close an application, or CTRLS to save. So, let's get started. Okay, these are the functions that I'm going to show you today. To begin with it, you need to download and install AutoHook key and Morphic Keys Coordinate Finder. Actually, any coordinate finder software will do, as long as you can find the coordinate on the screen. So, after you install AutoHotKey, and you right click new, you will see AutoHotKey script. So, this is the script I prepared for the functions, but I will show you what it looks like for a brand new one. These are the default settings for all the new script. So the description of the settings will be explained here, so I'm not going to explain that. So moving on. Our first function, open files, application, or website. You can open multiple of it using one key, and it is using the run platform, which is this. Anything you can open or run on this run, you can use it in the script. So, this is my script to run Microsoft Word in a fast way. In this syntax, the things that you're going to type is in between four columns. And this star means whenever I type WORD, right after the D, and it will run the code. If without this one, it, I will need to type WORD and a spacebar or an enter as the end char for it to run the code. So of course it is better to use the star. So always remember to end your block of code with return. So it will stop the script to keep reading the code, to keep running the code below. So let's try it. Save. Run script. So after you press run script, you can see this, your script is here. So if you are doing any editing here after save, you can just press reload this script. Or if the script is giving you any trouble, you can just exit it. Okay, so now I'm going to type word, W-O-R-D, and the word will come out. So it is not only restricted on notepad you can on also type it on desktop word the word that came up so to open multiple of it i set it using f1 anything on the left of these two columns will be the key that you need to press in order to run the commands so this is run notepad open youtube command prompt so F1. Everything will be open. So I'll show you a few simple syntax in this script. Hashtag means the window key on your keyboard. Execution mark means ALT. This mark means control. The plus sign means shift. And sign is used for the combination of two keys. And this I will show you later and enter in between the curly bracket it means the actual enter key on your keyboard same goes to tap or any other key which actually exists on your keyboard so i will show you i'll change it to ctrl j so the same thing, whenever I hold CTRL and press J, it will run the commands. Remember to save and reload your script. So for now, I'll hold shift and press J. Oh sorry, I mean hold CTRL and press J. So everything will come up again. Okay, next. Auto replace word. For example, 
Whenever I type OMW, it will auto replace OMW to on my way. The same syntax, the thing I need to type in between four columns, and the star is used whenever I type W, the code will run right after it. So let's see. O M W. It will auto change to on my way. Next. To show message box or to play sound of music right after you type something or use a certain hotkey. I will show these two, three and four in one. So the same syntax. For example, when I type beatbox, right after the X, it will show a message box with the content of DJ in the house. And it will play a sound, which is beatbox.mp3, located in my desktop. So, let's see. Beatbox. So it will show the message box, DJ in the house. Press OK. The sound file is played. Okay, so it is. This is a short one, and I will show you a long one. Like for example, kiss the ring. The same syntax. Whenever I type K T R, it will play the song kiss the ring, which also located in my desktop. So if you notice. There are none media player open to play the song. Even in Task Manager, there is nothing. There is. There don't have any media player to play this song. The song is played using the script. So whenever I end the script, the song stops. But you might. Once a better way to stop the music right so let me run the script again okay this is how you stop it same syntax so same sound play and this is a sound file which doesn't exist in your pc it doesn't matter what name you put in as long as it is not exist in your pc so I'll try KTR again. When the sound is play, and I type stop, the music will stop. Okay, now I'll teach how you teach you how to remap your key map. It is this symbol. It means when you press Z, it will show X. The function from Z will change to X. Take note that do not use uppercase because if you use uppercase the function will only be used when you use uppercase but when you use lowercase when you type lowercase z and uppercase z it will be function I can't prove to you that I'm really pressing z but you can test it by yourself next I'll show you how to auto open the browser, go to Facebook, and auto log in. It's either on Facebook, Office 365, anything. So this is the syntax. And this means whenever I type F and B, it will run the code below. If you notice that this sign means okay, because if without this sign, you can't type F. Ouch. Okay, you can't type F because it's like it is in a pending situation for you to run the code. So you need to put this sign so that your F and B will still be functioning. If without this one, your F and B will not be typed up. It is not functioning. Like for now, with this one, I can type fish bone. But when I type F and B, sorry, need to reload my code. Reload F B. Okay, so it will auto open to Facebook and auto log in. Okay, so 
this is how to explain it so whenever I type FNB it will run it will open Facebook win wait means the window will wait no it will wait the window with the title of Facebook for five seconds it means it will after you run the Facebook it will wait it to be active for five seconds after five seconds then it will run the code below this click this is where Morphiki's coordinate finder will be used which is this one how it functions is wherever your mouse is pointing and press spacebar it will get the coordinate for you okay take note that make sure for more secure on using your coordinate you set your coordinate mode to mouse screen which means the coordinate mode will affect on your mouse on your mouse pointer and the coordinate will depends on the screen because there is another parameter which is window windows window without s and it the coordinate is only working the coordinate is for the active window so it is better for you to set it as a screen save reload yeah. okay so it will wait the Facebook to be active after five seconds it will click on this coordinate which is sorry which is the coordinate is this this text box where you type in your email so this code will click on the text box and you will be ready for key in your ID password send is the command that you use to key in your ID and password so you will put your ID here and a tab in the, in the curly bracket which means the actual tab on your keyboard so it will move to the password text box and you place your, the, your password here and enter so that it will auto log in to your Facebook so maybe you will feel that it is not that safe for like for example maybe your friends know that you set the hotkey to FB so he doesn't need to know your password to your Facebook account he can just use your laptop and type FB to log into your Facebook account so the last one that I will show you is to set a security question whenever you are trying to use a certain hotkey so you need you need a input box output bar the title question type okay it means that you will whenever you type f and b it will appear an input input box output var is the variable name for the thing you type in the as the answer of the question so this this is where you put the title of your input box and the content which is the question in your input box height this height is used to hide your input in as the answer for the question so here if output bar equals to for this case Isaac my name so else Show a message box 
saying wrong password okay so now it means whenever I type FB it will show an input box asking with this title asking a question okay maybe I change it to your password title is check okay so it will it will see if your output if your output bar is equal to Isaac which is your password so it will run the function but if it it is not it will show a message box wrong password and it will not run the function so it can secure your hotkey okay let's try save it load this script okay whenever I type FB an input box came out with the title of check and your password just like what I type here okay so if I type random things okay this is the function of hide if I okay so now if I type the wrong password it will show this the wrong password message box and the code will not run so if I type again and you can see here the F will be still function okay when I type Isaac it will open Facebook and run the code okay so this is it for me thank you for watching and okay the auto hotkey actually have a lot of function I have just showed a little while the usage of it is between your imagination hope you enjoyed this video and make use of it Bye.